Yeah, I, I, I don't, I, I, I can't, what, I, it's, what, 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 I don't, yeah, it's fine. Okay, here it is. Hunger Games is a great franchise. It doesn't quite have the wow factor I like to have in movies. I was never blown away entirely by one. And a lot of it, I think, feels like it appeals more to the girl audiences with having which guy do I stay attached to. As a guy, I couldn't tell which one she favored more. It felt like she was giving off moves towards both of them. But but in this last one, I was very entertained. Unlike part one of The Mockingjay, which I do not remember at all. All I remember about it is that PETA gets mad at the end and tries to kill Katniss. And that's... All I can remember. The rest, I... Nothing. That doesn't mean the movie was bad. It's just, I totally forgot about you. With this one, I loved the suspense very much. I loved the cinematography, the CGI, the acting, the story, the character arcs. It was well done. And there was CGI, which it felt like it before Hunger Games was getting a little over the top with their CG. But in this one, it was there, but it was being more subtle. And I appreciated that. It wasn't in-your-face CGI. It wasn't the main point of the whole movie. It was used as the tool as it should be. I'm glad we wrapped up this franchise. It was a good one. Good, solid four movies and wrapped it up so we can move on to the next one. Star Wars. I am so ready for Star Wars. Have I not made that clear? Anyway, I don't want to get into spoilers, but Katniss dies. This movie didn't handle it the way you'd expect it to. What I mean by that is you expect it to be all leading up to this great battle between the rebellion and the capital, and then the war would happen and it'd be bloody and epic and triumphant and then yay the capital was overthrown but no it doesn't do that it actually focuses more on the character arcs between Katniss mainly and Peeta I was kidding when I said Katniss dies earlier <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But now, I didn't read the books, but apparently in the books, it's not as quite as a happy ending as the movie makes it out to be. In the books, Peta was trapped in the capital brainwash mode, and he never really got out of it, and Katniss had to raise him as this corrupted figure. In the movie, it wasn't like that. In the movie, Peta slowly came back to reality, figuring out what was real. But instead, the movie made it an arc, and I, I'm sure the books were very interesting and entertaining, but I, I like the movie endings better because it ended on a happy ending and a lot of movies don't like to do that these days they either end on a crappy like low note and everyone's sad and it was a big tragedy or what's even more common these days is it leads into something else is it coming back is it gonna turn around no it's refreshing today to see a movie that actually wraps up a story you don't have to wait for some end credit scene and find out what'll happen next no it just ended and tied it up and then we're done. They walked away from it and said we're done. It was good. So yes, I give this a positive review. And as always, thanks for watching.